Now, let me ask you guys this. So at the beginning of this conversation, what did you guys think was going to get you into heaven? Myself, my actions. Right. So if you had died, where would you have ended up? Hell. Right. Hell. But if, if you died this very moment, where would you go? Heaven. And why now heaven? Because I fully believe in, I fully trust in Jesus. Yeah. And what about him? He died for us. Yes, exactly right. That's awesome. Would you say this conversation then has been a turning point in your life? Like, I think it's wonderful. Like, I'm really, really, really thankful that you explained to me about this. Like, because I really, I didn't know. I would have went straight, straight to hell. And I'm thankful. Like, he's saying thank you, too. And I, we're thankful that you did this. Really, hey, my like, pleasure. My pleasure. Now, does this make you thankful to Jesus as well for what he's done for you? Really thankful to him? Yes. And does this make you now want to sin more or sin less then? Me, personally, I'd, I'd rather sin less. It definitely will make you want to sin less. Because yes. if you're trapped in a burning building and a fireman risked his own life to bring you out to safety, what would you want to do for the fireman who saved your life? Thank him. Yeah. Yes. You thank him. You'd buy him lunch. You'd do anything for him. He saved your life, right? Of course. And so if Jesus gave up his own life to save you from a burning hell, then what do you want to do for Jesus now? Do less sins. You got it. Exactly. That's why we want to not sin. That's why we want to do good things for him because we're grateful to him for what he's done for us. Does that make sense? Yes. Just always remember though that the good things that you do don't get you to heaven. You do them just because you're thankful to him.